Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I would like to just start out by apologizing for not uploading a video sooner. Um, I did this really cool thing where I had a baby two weeks ago. So I'm so excited to share with you today my birth story and kind of how it all happened. Um, her due date is actually tomorrow and she was born exactly two weeks early so she'll be two weeks old tomorrow. Um, and I'm so excited to share how everything went down with you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe below so you can get all my videos and be able to go along this journey with me and my new baby girl and my husband. I'm so excited to have you guys along with us on this amazing new journey into parenthood. Alright y'all, so let's jump right on into it. Um, so, it was February 11th at okay let's start over february 11th at 2 a.m um i lost my mucus plug and i knew that's what it was i had like read up on it and as soon as it happened i was like oh yeah this is what this is and then um so right after that happened i started having contractions about every 30 minutes um i was able to go back to sleep um and sleep i slept until justin had to get up for work and then i actually went to work from 12 30 to 4 30 that day um and while I was at work, I was still having contractions every 30 minutes. And I was just like walking laps around the store. Um, trying to just loosen everything up because we were super slow. And I was like, okay, let's get this going. And then, um, as if, I think I've said this in another video, but I had high blood pressure my whole pregnancy. So, um, when I got off work at 4.30, I had to pass my doctor on the way home. So, I was like, okay, I'll just stop at the doctor's and get my blood pressure checked and just make sure, you know, the baby and my everything's tolerating these contract, contractions well um, because they won't like hurting or painful but they were there and they were every like 30 minutes some of them were a little bit closer but nothing you know to worry about and rush to the hospital for um, so I stopped at the doctor and I was like hey just need one to get my blood pressure checked because um, I've been having contractions you know they're not close together but I just want to make sure you know nothing's wrong so they're like, oh yeah, that's a good idea, that's fine. So um, I go back there and they check it and my blood pressure was 151 over 99, um, which that bottom number is really high. They don't like to see it anywhere close to 100. It's supposed to be like 80 is like the normal. And then um, she was like, oh crap. She's like, it's been so good your whole pregnancy and now it's spiked. She said, hold on one second. So she went and talked to, to some people and... Um, she came back and said, you're going to labor and delivery. Um, the midwife will meet you over there. Um, what? I was like, are you serious? And she was like, yeah. She, she was like, go ahead and go over there. She was like, we've already called. They know you're coming. And I kind of had a mini freak out that I was like about to have a baby in 30 minutes. Um, but I went over there and the midwife met me over there. She was super sweet. She was not my doctor for my whole pregnancy, but my doctor, um, lives like an hour away and he had already went home and she was there um so she had me there they monitored me for about an hour my blood pressure came down i was four centimeters dilated and they said 90 percent effaced um and they took blood work everything looked normal my blood pressure came down and they sent me home so i'm glad they sent me home because i hadn't eaten eaten since like i got to work so that had been like a long time and once they admit you, you can't eat anymore. So I'm kind of glad they sent me home for that reason. But on the other hand, I was like, oh, don't they normally admit people at four centimeters? But guess not. So I went home and I kind of just relaxed. I ate some dinner. My back started hurting really bad. So I did take um, a short like 15 minute bath just to ease off my back and get kind of a little bit of heat on that. Um, and just kind of relaxed and stayed in bed and kind of took it easy. And then so it was like 10.35 when I went to use the bathroom and my water broke. And I knew that's what it was, but I was like, this can't be happening. And so I went and lay back down for like 15 minutes. And they say if you like lay down and then you stand up, it'll like trickle and you know that that's your water broke. It's not just like you peed on yourself. So um, I did that and that happened and that was at like 10.35. And Justin was in bed, and I was like, hey, um, babe, we gotta get back to the hospital. He was like, what? Because <laughs> we were just there, like, five hours ago. And so I called them, um, 
and I was like, hey, pretty sure my water just broke. I was here earlier. And they were like, go ahead and come back in. So we, and that morning I kind of knew something was going to happen. So like our bags were completely packed. We were ready. Everything was ready. Um, so we grabbed our bags, jumped in the car. I think we got to the doctor at like, or the hospital at like 11.15. And then so they admitted me and like hooked me up to everything. Um, and we started waiting. And uh, my contractions were like every like 15, 10 to 15 minutes apart by this time. So we get there and we're just like wait in wait in and the contractions get super close together and they come and check me and i was six centimeters and um i got an epidural sometime between this time and when after i got my epidural which she stuck me twice she said does this feel like it's in the middle i said i don't know i was slightly concerned but then but so she stuck me again and that one i could feel it it was like in the middle um, and so, she was like, you should, your toes should start feeling numb soon. They did not ever feel numb. Um, like, the whole time, like, my, like, right pelvis area was kind of numb a little bit. And then my right thigh was numb. But that was it the whole time. So, like, during my contractions, like, I felt everything on the left side, but kind of, but didn't really feel anything on the right. And then... And then, um, so that's how my epidural went the whole time. And they gave me the peanut ball, which was really awesome. It's that big gigantic thing that looks like a pe it's like shaped like a peanut. And they put it between your legs, and they would come and like flip me every so often with the ball. And then, so fast forward to a lot of waiting and pain and just being overwhelmed. Um, at, it was like 8:32 or something. It was probably a little bit before then that they came in and checked me. And they were like, oh, you're having a baby right now. And I was like, what? I was just six centimeters. They are like, yeah, you're having a baby. So, like, we woke everybody up because everybody was asleep. It was super early. We had been up all night. We woke everybody up. They, like, started prepping super soon. And then I think that we looked back at the text messages that someone sent. I think I started pushing at, like, 8.33. And then she was born at 9.06. And by that time, I wouldn't say my epidural wore off, but it, I never really was numb on my left side anyways, so I, like, felt everything. And then after, like, my thigh stayed numb for a while. I could walk and everything, but my thigh was still numb. So, like, I felt everything with having her, and I was really glad that the midwife was there, though, because she really helped a lot, and she was awesome, and all the staff at the hospital was amazing. I could not have asked for better nurses the whole time I was there. Um, everybody was literally amazing, and I'm so thankful for that because some people scared me about the hospital that I chose to go to, so I'm very happy that I had a good experience. But yeah, so that's pretty much what happened and how... Her birth came about. It was very unexpected. Um, I had like a gut feeling that it was going to happen that day, but overall it was very unexpected. Um, oh yeah, when I left the hospital the first time, they scheduled an induction for Friday. So that was Tuesday night. And they scheduled me for an induction Friday morning. So, but then she came naturally later that night on her own. So she was born on February 12th, 2020. She was Six pounds and 12 ounces she was 21 inches long and she was perfect and she's so cute and she's the best um, I keep looking over there because that's where she's sleeping at if you see my eyes go over there um, but in a few of the next videos I'll probably introduce her to you guys her name is Charlotte loving Norris and she's the cutest she's just the best baby um, she's been so good um, a good baby. She doesn't really cry or whine unless she's hungry or needs her diaper changed. Um, she does love being held and I don't mind because I love snuggling my baby that I've waited nine months for. So the first week has been, you know, just kind of hectic, kind of getting used to having a new baby in the house and the new routine and schedule and just taking care of someone else. Um, someone asked me what my struggles were for, you know, like, 
as being a new mom. And honestly, like, she's a really good baby. The only struggle is kind of just the new, the aspect of having another person that you have to be responsible for. And, like, not, like, remembering to, like, feed her or take care of her. Not like that. But just thinking about, okay, well, you know, is this normal? Is this what's supposed to be going on like stuff like that I feel like it's really different because that's stuff I didn't have to think about before and that would really because she's she sleeps pretty good at night she wakes up like once or twice um during the day she does really good and I really don't have that many struggles um breastfeeding is a love-hate relationship I do love it and the bond that it's created because I do feel you know, super close to her. I don't know how it would have felt if I didn't breastfeed, so I can't really t talk about that. Um, but it does make me feel, like, really close to her and really bonding with her. Um, however, my nipples feel like they're going to fall off. So, um, I'm going to do a whole other video on, like, things that you don't, that they don't tell you about breastfeeding. So, be looking out for that one. It'll probably be the next one or maybe the next one. But... Everything's going pretty great. I'm loving being a mom and loving having a daughter. And Justin is just like, I love watching him with her. It's just makes me love him more. I didn't think I could love him anymore, but watching him be a dad, I do definitely love, like, sh him showing the love to her makes me love him more. And so that's just something that you can't, you know, you can't really describe how it feels. It just makes you feel really happy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video um i really appreciate you guys being here and sharing this moment with our family and i hope that you guys will like and subscribe below so you guys can see all the new things that we go on and the adventures that we do with our new family and our new addition um and thank you guys so much i hope you all have a great day see you later